I have a great news. NASA just made one of the most exciting announcements in space exploration history. Their Perseverance rover may have found the strongest evidence yet of ancient life on Mars. Analysis on these leopard spots, um, and we, you know, we think they are potentially made by some sort of ancient life. This isn't science fiction, this is real and it happened in 2024. Let me explain what they found and why scientists are calling it groundbreaking. In July 2024, NASA's Perseverance rover was exploring an ancient river with in Mars's Jezero crater. Think of Jezero crater as a dried up lake that existed billions of years ago when Mars had water flowing on its surface. The rover was specifically investigating Nerefta valleys an old river valley about a quarter mile wide that once carried rushing water into its ancient lake. Their perseverance found a rock nicknamed Cheava Falls, about 3 feet long and 2 feet wide, shaped like an arrowhead. When the rover examined this rock closely, scientists saw something extraordinary, colorful spores arranged in patterns. The smaller ones we call poppy seeds and the larger ones we call leopard spots. These aren't just random markings. The spots contain two specific minerals that got scientists excited, vivianite and gregite. Vivianite is a mineral containing iron and phosphate. On Earth, we find it in places where organic matter, basically dead plants or animals, is decaying. It forms in swamps, peat bogs, and sediments where life once existed. Graykite is an iron sulfide mineral. Here's what's fascinating. Certain bacteria on Earth actually produce graykite as they live and grow. They create it through their natural life processes. Finding these two minerals together is like finding a fingerprint. Not definitive proof of life, but a strong clue that life might have been there. The rock also contains organic carbon, sulfur and phosphorus, basically the ingredients for life as we know it. Scientists think ancient microbes, tiny single-celled organisms could have used these chemicals as food. Here's how it would work. The microbes would trigger chemical reactions between these ingredients to generate energy. Just like how we get energy from food. These reactions would leave behind the mineral patterns we see today. Those leopard spots. Think of it like finding ancient campfire humans. You don't see the people who made the fire, but you see the charcoal and arranged stones that suggest someone was there. What's surprising is that these rocks are relatively young in Mars' storms. Scientists expected to find signs of life much, much older rocks. This discovery says Mars might have been habitable, capable of supporting life for longer than we thought, or that life could have existed later in the planet's history. The location is perfect for preserving evidence of ancient life. The rocks are made of clay and slit. Minerals that on Earth are excellent at preserving fossils and signs of ancient microbes. If life existed here billions of years ago, this is exactly where we'd hope to find evidence. Let's be clear, NASA hasn't found actual living organisms or even fossilized microbes. What they have found is a potential biosignature, scientific evidence that could indicate life existed but isn't definitive proof. These mineral patterns also could potentially form without life through other chemical processes. While the evidence points towards biological origin, scientists must rule out all non-biological explanation before confirming ancient life existed. Perseverance collected a sample from this rock, now called Sapphire Canyon. This sample, along with 26 other the rover has collected, will eventually be brought back to Earth in a future mission. Once here, scientists can study them with powerful laboratory equipment that's impossible to send to Mars. This peer-reviewed discovery, published in the internal nature, represents the closest we have ever come to finding life on Mars. It's not the final answer to whether we are alone in the universe, but it's a massive step forward. If confirmed, this could be the first discovery of life beyond Earth, answering one of the humanity's biggest questions, are we alone in the universe? It will mean life isn't unique to Earth and could exist elsewhere in the universe. Even without confirmation, this discovery changes how we think about Mars. It shows the planet was once warm, wet and potentially teeming with microbial life, a very different world from the cold, dry desert we see today. The search continues, but today we are closer than ever to answering whether life once existed on Mars.